गुड मॉर्निंग स्टूडेंट्स होप ऑल ऑफ यू आर फाइन येस्टरडे वी स्टार्टेड चैप्टर फोर ऑफ सिविक्स एंड नेम ऑफ द चैप्टर इज वर्किंग ऑफ इंस्टीट्यूशन एंड येस्टरडे वी डिस्कस दैट हाउ इज अ मेजर पॉलिसी डिसीजन टेकन एंड विच पीपल और विच इंस्टीट्यूशन आर कंसिडर्ड एज द डिसीजन मेकरस राइट एंड द लास्ट टॉपिक दैट वी डिस्कस इट वॉज द प्रोमिस ऑफ जनता दल that if it would come into power then they will implement the mandal commission report now after winning of that election in 1989 several development took place now what were those developments the beta the first one was first of all of india in his address to the parliament announced the intention of the government to implement the recommendations of the mandal commission so this announcement was made by the president of india then on 6 august 1990 the union cabinet minister cabinet took a formal decision to implement the recommendation because there is a specific procedure for making these kind of announcements or taking decisions so one formal decision was uh, taken to implement the recommendation and next day prime minister vp singh informed the parliament about this decision through a statement in both the houses of parliament the decision of the cabinet was sent to the department of personnel and training the senior officers of the department drafted an order in line with the cabinet decision and took the minister's approval means whatever guidance was given uh, by the prime minister so the same order was formed by the senior officers of the department an officer signed the order on behalf of the union government Uh, do you remember in the very beginning we read that that the joint secretary of personal department he signed that official order that office memorandum so this office memorandum it was formed on august 13 1990 for the next few months this was the most hotly debated issue in the country newspaper and magazines were full of different views and opinions on this issue it led to widespread protest and encounter protest some of which were violent as you know normally people they just uh, don't want to give their space to others so that is why people few categories they were uh, against this reservation people reacted strongly because this decision affected thousand of job opportunities some people felt that existence of inequalities among people of different castes in india necessitated job reservation but when ever any decision is taken some people will be in favor of that other will be against that so these people but whosoever uh, is benefited from this type of decision they were in favor of this decision so they felt this would give a fair opportunity to those communities who so far had not adequately been represented in the government employment but the on the other hand they felt that this was unfair as it would deny equality of opportunity to those who did not belong to backward communities and these communities they would be denied jobs even though they could be more qualified some felt that this would perpetuate caste feelings among people and hamper national unity so uh, this was about the after effect of these decision that how people reacted against this implementation of mandal commission's recommendations right but in this chapter we we will not discuss whether the decision was good or bad we are just reading the procedure that how the decisions are taken we only take this example to understand how major decisions are taken and implemented in the country 
Now, who resolved this dispute? As people were against this decision, then who resolved this? As we know, the finally uh, all these disputes are interpreted by the Supreme Court. So, in this case also, the Supreme Court and the High Courts in India settle disputes arising out of governmental decisions. Some persons and associations opposed to this order filed a number of cases in the courts and these people appealed to the court to declare the order invalid and stop its implementation. Now, like so many people, they filed the case. So, the Supreme Court of India bunched all these cases together. This case was known as the Indra Sahane and others versus Union of India case. Eleven judges of the Supreme Court heard arguments of both sides. And by a majority, the Supreme Court judges in 1992 declared that this order of the government of India, it was valid. At the same time, the Supreme Court asked the government to modify its original order. It said that well-to-do persons among the backward classes should be excluded from the getting the benefit of reservation. Accordingly, the Department of Personal and Training issued another office memorandum on September 8, 1993. The dispute thus came to an end and this policy has been followed since then. As you know, at present also the same criteria is followed that all the government jobs, there is a reserve, 27% seats are reserved for these socially and economically backward classes. Now the next topic is, what is the need for political institutions? Like we are just reading that all these are the political institutions. So why do we need this? We have seen one example of how the government works. Governing a country involves various such activities like the government is responsible for the ensuring security to the citizens. It has to provide facilities for education and even health to all. It collects taxes and spends the money. Thus, raised on administration, defense and development programs means there are so many responsibilities for the government and even government formulates and implements several welfare schemes. So, some person have to take decision on how to go about these activities. Now, how these decisions will be taken? So, the question is, who will take the decision and who will implement these decisions? If dispute arise on these decisions or in their implementation, then there should be someone to determine what is right and what is wrong. So it is important that everyone should know who is responsible for doing what. Means we should know the responsibility that who is accountable, who is answerable for any kind of decision. It is also important that these activities keep taking place even if the person in key positions change. So to attend to all these tasks, several arrangements are made in all modern democracies. Such arrangements are called institutions. So a democracy works well when these institutions perform functions assigned to them. The constitution of any country lays down basic rules on the power and functions of each institution and for every institution various rights and responsibilities are clearly mentioned. The prime minister and the cabinet are the institutions that take all important policy decisions. So, uh, and the civil servants working together are responsible for the taking steps to implement the minister's decisions. And 
now who will resolve the problem so supreme court is an institution where disputes between citizens and the government are finally settled now with these three points beta what do we come to know like the first one the prime minister and the cabinet these are known as the legislature right the second one the civil servants they were known as the executive because they just perform the implementation part and supreme court this is the example of judiciary to interpret the laws and to resolve the different kind of disputes so beta this was the topic for today hope all of you have understood the topic thank you and have a nice day